Good morning, everyone. Today is September 2nd. It's about 6.30 in the morning. And today is officially the day that I leave for Nashville. This will be the third year in a row that we're going. We go to a Christian conference called Sing. And this will also be my third and final of my big trips this summer because we had the mission trip about a month ago and then Okoboji almost a month ago. And Nashville is officially the last of my big trips, as far as I'm aware. I am pretty tired. I'm all packed up and loaded in the car. I've got my water bottle filled, and now I'm just stalling because I don't want to leave home because my bed is comfy and I like being home. We're gonna be getting on the road here soon and driving the about 14 hours it takes to get to Nashville from here. We have made it to where we are stopping for day one. We are now going to go eat at a place called the Mellow Mushroom in an old abandoned coke plant, which is awesome. No matter what hotel room I'm in, I always turn on the TV because it makes it feel more like home. And there's one show that I always turn on because for some reason they won't stop playing it on TV. And it's one of my favorite show since I was a kid in like elementary school. It's Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. And no matter where I go in a hotel, it's always on Food Network in the evening. So I'm going to lay down after I take a shower and just watch Triple D. <laughs> It's been a full first day of just driving and then eating. And now I'm in bed, I'm gonna take a shower, and I'm gonna sleep. guy beside him in the first three songs was just kind of really awkward. He, he wasn't expecting all this and uh, it was, but he, he kind of warmed to it at the intermission. Richard leaned over and said, was this not what you were expecting? And he said, I thought I bought tickets for Sting. <laughs>
morning everyone. So it is the first full day of the actual conference. We left two days ago. It is Monday, September 4th. <laughs> I have no idea what day it is. It's right around noon-ish. I woke up at like 8 and then just sat here and did nothing. My mom left because she is at some sort of talk about like teaching kids because that's what she does. So I have the place to myself. I ate breakfast. I have my fancy camera, that's what I'm using to film this, but I don't want to bring it around and draw any more attention to myself than I already do. If you want to see, look over here. I don't know if it's pointing correctly, but there's my hot ride. This is my first time ever using that one in public since I got it like eight months ago because I've been too scared to use it in public. Today is the first full day of the conference. The real stuff starts at like 1.30, so I've got another two hours. We're in the heart of downtown Nashville. This might be my favorite hotel we've stayed in so far. This one has a balcony. It's a little, it's like another street down from the stuff. Like the other two that we were at were like exactly where we had to be. We've got a long day ahead of us. I wanna go to sleep. All right, this is the fit for today. I have this like orangey, pinky, red tank top, and then my bibs. And today I whipped out the Chacos because I love them. I was gonna leave my hair down, but it was just kinda in the way, and then I made a braid. But then this braid turned out like really nice, so I think I'm gonna wear it now. I've done my makeup like a real human. Anyway, last night we had a three hour concert at the Ryman, and it was awesome. Oh my gosh, there was so much good music. We sang Holy, Holy, Holy in three part harmony, or it wasn't three part harmony, it was like an eight part harmony. It was beautiful. This is a conference of just a bunch of like choir directors and teachers and singers and stuff. So like everyone has like a beautiful voice. And so just to be in a room of a bunch of people who can sing really well, singing traditional music is so good. And singing modern hymns together. Oh, it's so good. I'm at the same conference in Nashville. I don't know if I've even said that. I'm at the same conference in Nashville. I've been going for the past three years with my mom. Um, the first year that I did it and the second I was dragged along and this year I'm like kind of okay with it. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but I can enjoy it and appreciate it now that I'm older. I just wanted to update you guys because I haven't like spoken to like explain what's happening in all these clips. There's no breakout sessions today, it's just the group stuff, and then tomorrow there's some breakouts, and then Wednesday morning there's one more group session and a breakout, and then that's it. And then I and then we drive home. So it's just a short little thing, uh, but it's a fun thing to do. And this will be the last of my summer trips because I went to West Virginia and then Okoboji and now Nashville. And then that'll be it hopefully for a few months. I might, t I might go on another short trip to visit one of my friends up at college, but might not. So that's the only other thing I might do. But no matter what, I get some time to be home for two months before I have to go anywhere. So that feels nice. I'm gonna go now and there will be more video clips pretty soon. Bye. <laughs> And make his fist to shine. Come be over on the ministry. He the perfect son of man. See the true and better God come to save the Praise the Lord. His mercy is more.
funny story, somehow I accidentally got into the session with Colin Buchanan way too early and they weren't supposed to let me in, but for some reason they did. And I was in the room alone by myself with him. I didn't film him for obvious reasons, but that this happened. Cool. Yeah, here, I'll have it. He's from Dalton, Georgia. And... Oh. Vanessa, California. He needs hands, he's got... Possibly to Alabama. And... We need to say That's almost a song in itself. <laughs> and Jacksonville, Florida. We need to say it is a song in itself. I am one of the few people without an accent at this uh, conference. <laughs> <laughs> elevator is broken. I can't go downstairs. feel like you're sort of somewhat exposing yourself a little bit like is this good I don't know really over the last 10 years the most 
uh, texted thing to each other is, is this good? And the response is, I don't know. We had to stop for one more night last night and we're about to get back on the road. We've got about five hours left of the drive. We drove for about seven hours straight yesterday, so we're, we were fed up with it. So we're ready to get back on the road and go home. <laughs>